What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Let me move this out of the way. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, we're about to die. My name is Jemaya, by the way. <laughs> um, today is May 25th, and today there was a school shooting in Texas. I just want to take this moment to send love and light to the families who were affected by this situation, also the family of the shooter. I'm not going to get political with this, but just it needs to stop number one we need to start treating people the way we want to be treated and if we can't go out into the world and not even spread love or positivity but if we can't conduct and contain our anger and our hurt and our trauma we don't need to be going out into the world there's no reason that someone should feel like they have to go and commit such an act or a crime because they were being picked on for the way their clothes look like you get what i'm saying like, it's, it's no reason so if you're an aunt if you're a mother if you're a cousin whatever push light and love into your people so that they're not going out here and picking on people kids and picking on anyone check them when you hear them talking sh stuff or whatever about anybody check them and let them know you never know what somebody's going through or what they are capable of and i'm not saying you know trying to place blame or shift the blame anywhere but what i'm saying is hurt people hurt people and one little act or one little comment that you make to someone could be you know the thousand comment they didn't got about whatever and now they're going to do this whether it's you know it's hurting somebody else or themselves and i know it's hard and i know life ain't all living like because it ain't but what I'm saying is, if you can't go out, it's 111. If you can't go out, put on your best face and spread love, you don't need to be going out. You don't need to be going out. Okay? But today's video, um, I don't know what it's going to be about. Because, of course, it's a flow session, divine download session. When I was in my house just now, like these past couple of days, I haven't really been filming. And... I'm not going to say I was taking a break, but I kind of realized, like, some new things I want to do when it comes to uh, my social media and posting like that. I am back on Instagram, if you're not aware. But, you know, I got a divine download about, you know, the content I'm posting and how I'm conducting myself on social media. And what I learned is that on Instagram, I post, you know, like lifestyle content and aesthetically pleasing pictures, but... You know, that's like the front. That's the front, right? Not the front, but that's like the first thing people see if you're, you know, going through Instagram. It's quicker. YouTube videos, you know, people have to sit down and get engaged in the videos. So, I basically was told that I have to bring value to my Instagram so that I can get people to come to watch my YouTube videos. And also, the content that I post on YouTube and my Instagram page has to correlate. You know, it all has to tie into together. So... Um, on Instagram, what I learned or what I'm going to start doing since I had that download is um, I want to start posting more informative videos. So if that means taking a clip from one of my videos, I'll do that and make it into something shorter so that, you know, I can get people to come watch the full version. Basically, I just need to be more informative and bring more value to my videos. And now that I'm sitting here talking, uh, I feel like a part of me or my ego is literally telling me right now that, um, you know, and that's the one thing I want to talk about too, the ego. Yeah. Oh yeah. But my ego is literally telling me, oh, the videos you made aren't valuable. So you have to go on uh TikTok and other social medias to find someone who's talking about valuable topics and, you know, talk about that in yours. But my videos and what I have to say is valuable. So I'm fighting with myself right now in my head because <laughs> it's telling me that what I have to say isn't valuable and that I need to make like my content digestible for a certain type of audience but that is not true at all so yeah you know that's what some things I've been working through like the ego I'm so happy I had a conversation with my boyfriend uh, a couple of weeks ago about the ego well, it wasn't really a conversation. Basically, I've been struggling with gossiping. Not gossiping. What would I call What would you call that? Basically, I was living out of my ego. Like, I was living in an ego mind and...
the reality that I had that I was experiencing was a result of me allowing my ego to be the the last call. And I was allowing my past experiences or traumas that I had growing up and you know to dictate how I'm gonna react to things that I encounter in the future and how pretty much how my life's gonna turn out. And it's only been a short period of time but I have realized that it was so many things that I was just blind to and that I was stopping myself from receiving and experiencing because I was living out of my ego mind. I've been doing some research about it since then, but most of all, I've been practicing the research that I found and that I've been like thinking about and the downloads I've been receiving. And I'm not saying peaches and cream, but it's so much easier. Well, it feels much, it's not easy at all. It feels much better to be aware of the limiting experiences and beliefs that you have so i watched a video by the holistic psychologist and she talked about the different stages of ego that you can go through and the first stage was and i'm just gonna paraphrase the first stage was the stage that i was in for like majority of my life but the first stage of ego is ego unawareness so you're basically completely unaware that you know there is an ego and that you are a separate being from your ego so in this first stage you're basically blind to the fact that you are a separate entity from the experiences that you've had in life so i or me when you speak of that like you believe that you are the experiences that you're speaking of i believe so and so and so you believe that that belief is a part of who you honestly are but it's actually the self and the experiences that you have so you are separate from the experiences you have from i mean that you've had in your life so the first stage is not being aware of that fact right in this stage you know when someone makes you mad or someone attacks you or hurts you you believe that they, that's a personal attack you're not able to detach yourself from that experience or realize that whatever that person you know is conveying or putting out into the world is a reflection of their inner world and not mine or not me right so that's the lack of ego awareness right there and that kind of ties back to this situation in texas like this child whoever this was that committed this crime wasn't able to detach themselves from the experience of the bullying and you know the teasing and things like that like he believed that the things that they were saying about him were true so you think that this is you as a personal attack but it's really a reflection of these kids or whoever was teasing this person but back to what i was saying number two is ego awareness and in this stage you're not like completely healed or whatever is you you can never be done healing so ego awareness is when you get the knowledge or you accept the knowledge that or the fact that you are not your experiences right so in this stage you're usually like you know in the typical situation that you would usually be in that you would react to out of ego and you realize hmm you know, I'm in ego mind right now. You know, I'm letting my ego run me. This is not how I feel. You know, that's just my ego, right? So ego awareness, and this is a stage, like she was saying, you, we usually go back and forth between ego awareness and lack of uh, ego awareness when we're first figuring out the situation, you know, how things work with the ego. That's the second stage. The third stage of the ego, she calls the witness or consciousness. And in this stage like i was saying with the stage two which is ego awareness where you can realize okay or you can recognize i'm in you know ego mind i know that this is the ego this is not who i am in the third stage you'll be able to hold yourself in that position and be the observer of the motions and the stories that the ego makes and what they have what the ego has convinced you is your reality so you're holding yourself in this space and you know whatever happens outwardly or you know the stories that you know my ego has created about me is not who I am it's not true I can observe these things and I can be in control of you know my experience and my reality so in this stage with situations that you will usually react to out of ego and emotion you're able to step back out of that and you're able to control your reaction you're able to live in the present and make a new story and not react out of the story that your ego has convinced you is true for you or that is you and the fourth stage of ego is ego integration and in this stage 
you can think of this like the end all be all or like the you don't like the goal so in ego integration you're basically constantly in a state of awareness awareness that you are conscious energy so you're not going too much back and forth between the other three stages and you're like holding your awareness and your presence in the moment and you're constantly creating new decisions and opening up new pathways through conscious decisions i think the word integration is like perfect because you are aware of the ego and that experience that can happen and you realize that i am literally not that you know it's just like a conscious detachment it's a conscious lifestyle you 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 have transitioned from you know going back and forth with the other three stages all the way to recognizing and realizing and living a lifestyle based around your consciousness and your presence and i also should say that although she listed them in stages it's very clear and kind of common sense it's not going to happen in stages. Like I said, in 2019, when I first went on my, you know, I first discovered my spirituality and stuff like that, I was aware of my ego. And I feel like I've been going back and forth between one and two for about a couple of years. Well, since then, but I've never been able to completely step out of that. And that is a goal of mine. Like I said, ego integration, the last stage is the goal. You know, that's like a big thing right there. Like... Excuse me. That's for all uh, eight. Yeah. Thanks. Um, try to get my mama a package. I don't know what I was saying. Billy Bob teeth. <laughs> Man, watch out! My mama crazy. So yeah, that last stage of ego, that's definitely the goal, and I would love to get there. In that stage, you know, you can just imagine and experience bliss and you know your true self you know who you are and what life really is about so you're kind of back to that childlike joy you 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 get back your ability to dream and to imagine you know like kids have big imaginations that's because you know they still have so many beliefs that haven't been pushed into them the stories haven't been written yet. The stories are not finished being written, you know, So, because they're still experiencing what life is. So that's what you can imagine when you think of ego integration. And I I would love to get there. And I'm going to get there. We all going to get there. You know, if you, if you want it, it's going to happen. I Like listening and thinking about just being in that state or imagining being able to detach yourself from, from the stories that you, you believe are you and... You know, that you have to prove a point according to... That's just like... That's pure bliss. That's when you're able to create an experience on another level. That's when you hear about people who... Up at 4 a.m. And when they when you talk to them at 7 a.m., they didn't already went to the gym. They didn't eat. They didn't got four or five things checked out their to-do list. And that you can imagine. I can imagine and feel... That's so motivating. That is so motivating. Like, just knowing that, you know, these times and these things that I believe are me and the things that hold me back and all of these beliefs, just thinking about the fact that that's not who I am and that there is better for me and that I can become better, that's, that is, that set a fire under my ass. I haven't filmed in a couple of days because I'm not going, I haven't been unmotivated or anything like that, but with the content I'm making, you know, it's a very specific genre and I don't want to throw anything out there because who's, you know, that's just not true for me. So just hearing that and realizing that, you know, maybe those things that were holding me back or, you know, getting in my head about filming, maybe that's just a story because I, I fight so hard every day when I get up, I work out and stuff, you know, I eat, I try to eat as healthy as I can. The, the, the dialogue is playing all the time in my head, you know. You can't be a vegetarian because no one in your family has done it. You're going to look crazy if you eat piece of meat again. You know, people are going to make fun of you or they're going to, you know, try to try to gaslight you into this and that. You know, your videos, somebody's watching, somebody's not watching. You know, you're, you're never going to blow up. You don't deserve the recognition. What you have to say doesn't hold value. Just knowing and recognizing and hearing that these stories are a result of you know the experiences and traumas that I've had and experienced as a child or just in general 
just knowing that that is not true for me and whatever is playing in your head is not true for you just knowing that that sets a fire under your ass that puts you in front of this in your car on your way to work whatever it is you need to go whatever it is you want to do that puts you to the park with them kids that puts you to sit down and read a book with the baby whatever it is you want to do that that at that doesn't make you want to get up and do something does that not make you want to get up and do whatever the hell it is that you were supposed to be doing because it, that's how i feel about it knowing that that's not true for me that's the true experience of god right there ego integration pure flow pure consciousness and energy raw energy that you can touch something and break it that's that's the goal that's the goal you know we're not living out our egos and right now i'm just thinking about uh a vision board that i have well it's not really a vision board let's say it's just like a manifestation board and i wrote a lot of things and divine downloads that i often get is raining that i often get on and one of the things i wrote on it i'm about to see if y'all gonna still be able to hear me you know on the vision board or the manifestation board i wrote that we don't give vent to flesh and that's something that i always say because like i said i struggle with being present yeah i struggle with you know just stepping out of the ego mind sometimes and it leads me to say mean stuff and all type of stuff that is not me and i'm just thinking about what i wrote now that I have this information about operating out of ego and I'm like you know you can always and my dad always say this a lot of the time we know things but we never we don't understand them. so it took me so long to realize that I had already known you know about the ego but it just had to be understood it had to be developed I had to get more knowledge about it and it's so beautiful how these this works it's so beautiful I would have never known you never know and God's timing the universe's timing the creator's timing is perfect and it, it's it's better than anything that we could ever know or that we could ever do and it's crazy because I've always known it but I never understood it and I haven't understood it until now and it makes me think like you gotta trust the timing you gotta trust when and my, my another one of my problems is I want to know everything right then and there and I probably knew, or I probably felt like I knew what the ego was and I had the ego down pat, but I really didn't. And I probably wasn't ready to know what I know now back then because I would have made decisions and, you know, put myself in positions that I wouldn't have been able to get myself out of. But, but it's been years since I have become aware of the ego or that I could be consciousness or what's possible for me. And after all those times, I'm just realizing that I just never understood it. That's not where I should put it. And that's what I'm trying to say with all of this. Like, trust God's timing. You are not your experience. You are in control of your experience. And just rock out. Rock out. So, yeah. Knowing that information, I'm feeling good. I got the flow going. I had coffee this morning. I'm about to get in there edit this video. Upload the other one I edited. I feel ready. I feel light. These sessions help me. I hope it's helped somebody. If, so, if you're watching, if you are watching, leave me a purple heart in the comments. And thank you so much. Um, yeah. Let me see y'all in my next video. Hey, I'll let you know.